is it at night or in the night is it at weekends or on weekends should we say in the beginning or at the beginning these are some of the questions that we will try to answer in this lesson we'll also shed light on the situations and phrases which at times create confusion and gain clarity and confidence in choosing the right prepositions of time in on and at with them friends my name is heman singh rana and you're watching in live in english making the language entertaining lively and functional so let's get started on the weekend at the weekend on new year at new year it is confusing to hear people use at and on interchangeably with festivals and weekends isn't it let's clear the confusion when we are talking about a weekend in general and festivals in the sense of vacation period or extended public holidays we use preposition at with them however when we are talking about a particular special day or weekend we use preposition on let's see some sentences to understand this better at new year people like to go out of town and make merry on new year's eve we like to dine at a nice place i am planning to propose my girlfriend at christmas i am planning to propose my girlfriend on christmas day in the first and third sentence the new year and christmas are extended period of vacation or festivities therefore we have used preposition at in the second and fourth sentence we have used preposition on as we are talking about particular days if all goes well we will go for an outing at the weekend we will go for an outing on the last weekend of august in the first sentence the weekend is used in a general sense and in the second it's a particular weekend we are talking about while the british are particular about at and on with weekends americans usually prefer on with the weekend or weekends moving on with parts of the day like morning afternoon evening etc we use preposition in but when these are specifically mentioned with a day of the week year month or season we use preposition on let's see some sentences i always go for a walk in the morning we left for new york on the morning of 9th of july we have decided to meet on sunday afternoon i avoid venturing out in the afternoon in the night and at night these two phrases are also very confusing but remember in the night refers to one particular night at night refers to any night in general for example yesterday i finished the project in the night We will cover the remaining distance in the night. It's not safe to drive at night. Avoid walking alone at night. Many also get confused with at the end and in the end. Let's begin with at the end. The phrase is normally followed by a preposition of and it can mean the end of a physical location it can also mean the end of an event story lesson presentation explanation etc it can also refer to the end point of a period of time let's understand this with the help of some examples steve is waiting for you at the end of the street there's a beautiful lake at the end of the woods in both the sentences we are talking about the location at the end of the story people were left mesmerized we were given assignments at the end of the meeting 
In these two sentences, we are talking about a metaphorical end. We are flying to London at the end of this month. I will go to the hills at the end of this week. In both these sentences, we are talking about the end of a period of time. The phrase in the end, on the other hand, is mostly used as an idiom, meaning finally. We use it to talk about things that happen after a long time or after a series of other events or when everything is considered. It means the final result of some situation. Let's see some sentences. In the end, what matters in a relationship is trust. We argued and debated and in the end left the room. The team really played well and in the end they won. We had a lot of problems with our car. We sold it in the end. In all these sentences, something happened after a series of other events or when everything was considered. Now let's talk about phrases at the beginning and in the beginning. The phrase at the beginning is the opposite of at the end. It is usually used with preposition of to talk about the point from where something begins. It could refer to the beginning of a physical location, event, story, film, lesson, presentation, explanation, etc. It could also refer to the starting point of a period of time. Whereas the phrase in the beginning is used to contrast two situations and it is normally used alone. Let's see some sentences to understand this better. There's a restaurant at the beginning of the street. We will hold a meeting at the beginning of July. At the beginning of the semester, students made plans to score well. In the beginning, we couldn't understand him, but gradually things became clearer. In the beginning, he was very nice, but soon he fell off with everyone. There are times when we don't require any preposition of time. Time expressions such as each, every, next, last, some, this, that, one, any and all don't require prepositions in, on and at. Let's see some sentences. We go on sightseeing every Sunday. The annual meeting will be held next Monday. You can visit me any day. The match was played last Friday. In spoken English, there is an increasing trend of not using preposition on before days of the week. For example, I will visit the doctor Monday. I usually don't work Sunday evenings. So friends, that's it in this lesson. I believe now you are more confident in using prepositions of time, in, at and on, in various situations and with various phrases. If you have any doubts or concerns, you can get in touch with me. In the next lesson, we'll study more prepositions of time. I'll be back with you soon. Till then. Keep learning and keep improving. Goodbye.